Hey y'all, it's Joe, just Joe, and today is my 16th anniversary. So we are gonna run out to eat. Um, I was running super out of schedule, so proud of myself. And then Buddy decided he doesn't want to eat. And so I got all nervous, and then I was trying to check on him and do my hair. So anyway, here we are. I'm not much in a rush though. It's my anniversary. I'm just gonna take my time and do do the thing, you know. I got a lot of stuff in front of me trying to I got a idea of what I want to do. Of course, I have on my face. And I will list that below. I don't know why the light is acting funny here. Is that better? I don't know. We'll try that. So, I've got my Adept palettes out because I'll show you my outfit. So, I have my lace top on, but I don't know if I can get my foot up. Oh, I've got silver silk pants. And shockingly, I don't have a whole lot of palettes that color story. But I did find this Horace, uh, um, and this Hather's got like a gold green silver in it. I may use that. I'm already getting glitter all over me, but that's the fun of it, right? And then here's the Heather Austin, which this bronzy silver tone I like. So we're just gonna get into it. I got them all right here. I got my little Rowan 1111 if I need it. I don't know where the little paper for this one ended up, but anyway, let's get to it. That glitter on my hands. So I've already primed my, I've done everything except lips, liner, and mascara. Um, I had lashes out, but you know what? It's my anniversary and I don't feel like putting on lashes today. So I'm not going to, I'm just gonna use mascara. And hopefully remember to curl my lashes, which probably won't happen. So I am going. That's one's too small. I'm gonna find a pretty fluffy. Uh, this is a Zoeva two two five. Just a little, uh, kind of a dense, uh, crease brush. I'm gonna go in that shade I showed you, Horace. And I am gonna kind of. Keep that to the outer section. If y'all hear my, oh, that growl, that's my stomach. Since I thought I was going to be ready sooner, I didn't eat a snack by the end. Y'all know who I am about my babies. He's ate enough today for me not to worry about it, but I am going to worry about it because that's what I do. My mama said that's what mamas do. They worry. Let's look, I've barely touched the pan. That is so pretty. Um, let's see. I'm trying to plan out things here. I'll pull out my cologne if I have to. And I know I'm not probably saying that right. And I know my friend James is going to watch this video and be like, you've been doing so good saying it right. But I always mess it up. Cleon, Cleon, I think. If you hear Jason talking, it's him trying to get Buddy to eat his dinner. Um, he's, we had uh, tornadoes in surrounding cities, which meant we had pretty fierce thunderstorms the other night. Uh, Wednesday, I believe. And it knocked all the acorns down, which is lovely for the mornings and stuff to see the deer come out and eat them. But, Buddy has been wanting to eat them, and I'm doing my best not to let him. And I'm, I'm just kind of worried that maybe he ate too many and he's got upset belly, you know? I can hear him. He was still super excited when Jason got home, so I don't think he can have too much of an upset belly, you know? But I'm gonna take this, um, Luxie 221. It says concealer. It's just a flat brush so I can get the gray up under, the Horace gray. Up. I wonder, I should have, I watched her video, but y'all know, um, 
my short term memory isn't great anymore. But I was so tickled for Heather Austin to get an adept palette because at that time I don't think there was maybe she was the first I don't know I didn't think adept did that but more and more companies are doing collabs than ever before used to it was kind of like a Morphe Colourpop thing and now the big brands are in there you know but anyway, yeah, it's my 16th anniversary. We've been together almost 21 years since we started dating. Um, we've been through stuff, like any couple. It was my first brush. But nothing terrible. I mean, our morals line up really well together. So, I don't know. It's just like... Everything else kind of works out. You know what I mean? I'm going to take this little fluffy brush with nothing on it and kind of blend that. I do have to take my bandages off because I am going to wear my cute shoes. They are comfortable and they're flat. So I shouldn't fall or anything. And I have my cane. I, I'll still use my cane. But I don't know where... My ace bandage with my house slides. I mean, Jason wouldn't care, but it's not part of the cute look I'm going for. Me and Jason pretty much started dating when we both came to Murfreesboro. Um, I think he was here a little bit longer than I was, but, um, Let's see, do I want to deepen that up? I really think I just want to maybe put a little bit of the dark on the inner corner and then shimmer out that part. So I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to kind of keep it right in here. Not quite a cut crease, but in that genre, I can hear him trying to get Buddy to eat. Oh, I don't know. It makes me so upset. But. And then, um, we dated, I guess, four and a half years. And a lot of people thought we were nuts, because that's a long time. But, you know, I had told him I at least wanted to get through my master's degree before we got married or even talked about it. I did want to go all the way through and get my doctorate. But disabilities happened, and that's okay, because... We're in a good spot, and that's what matters. I really like this kind of, I don't know, which, it says re, R-E. It's like green, black, bronze, and silver. It's this one, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell the colors. This one right here. Kind of pat it in there. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to use glitter glue. I kind of want it to be softer than I normally go for. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot because it's kind of coming up uh, a gunmetal y color with like little sparkles. Oh, I like that a lot. You know. I hope I get all the makeup down as soon as this video is launched. But if the makeup's not down there, it will be soon listed below, I mean. But, um, you know, I don't know why, but when it's something special, I seem to always pull out my more rich brands, you know what I mean? Which is weird for me because... I love cheap brands too and some cheap brands I swear by that they're much better than some high-end brands but I don't know when I'm really trying to fix myself up 
it, I don't know. I just go for that the more high end stuff I have. I don't know why I do that, but it's almost like it's for a special moment. Which use your makeup, don't save it. It's silly. It'll expire before you get it. I kind of like that it's so simple. I don't know. I need a little. Mm. Well, let's see if I can find a. Oh, this one's. A, I think I can do this. This is like a gold, pink, silver. So excited in the. Oh, no. This is the Heather Austin. The last one was the Aminet. Aminet? Or whatever palette. So this is so excited right here. And I'm going to kind of top that in the middle to kind of brighten things up and bring it barely blend it out to the edge I want to be sparkly that is a really soft shade oh, I like that a lot I think I'm gonna put that maybe in the inner corner where's my little brush I had let me wipe it off real quick Uh, hmm. It's just not bright enough for me. I think I'm going to go into the Austin shade. It's got blue, green, and pink for my inner corner. Just a touch. I don't really want to show that it's like pink and stuff because my outfit. I just want something to lighten that area though. You know what I mean? I put a little highlighter there, but it's just not enough. I do have my hair down. A lot of you like my hair down. I do too, actually. It just... It's a lot to to do to get it down if that makes sense and then I'm gonna put I'm gonna go back to the first palette and put a little bit of that gray tone shimmer on the bottom lash and that makes such beautiful shadows okay probably should have wet the brush oh it's not falling out that's great I usually will pat the shadow into the brush in the palm of my hand, but uh, I'm trying not to get glitter all over my clothes. I don't mind if it's all over my face, which is weird, I guess, but all right, so that's that. I just got curl lashes. Don't forget curl lashes. Get my little curler here. A lot of times I put my mascara on and then curl. It just seems to hold better, but as little bitty as my lashes are, they actually curl okay. I'm gonna take this Dark Star um, Pat McGrath mascara and try not to get it on my makeup. I didn't do the inner waterline, the bottom waterline. I will while this first coat dries. I think he took Buddy outside. I heard the door, and now I don't hear them talking. Hmm. I pulled out several. I think I'm gonna use this champagne -y by Urban Decay. Warm it up a little bit. Yeah, it's a beautiful color. I will say one thing. These Urban Decay liners stay good forever. Like, I got these two years ago. Yes, I know there's an expiration date, but 
I don't know. I feel like because I can sharpen it that I get rid of the yucky part, which is probably not true. But anyways, I mean, they stay creamy and everything forever. They don't, that blows my mind. I They're not actually my favorite liner. They're probably in my top five though. Makeup Forever makes my favorite. But they are expensive. I think the Urban Decay is actually pretty expensive too. That's why I always get usually the Trio at Christmas or Quad at Christmas that they have of the miniature sizes. Okay. Now, I pulled this Too Faced Better Than Sex um, one for the bottom lash, but I may have to grab something else. We'll see what happens. I think I got such tiny lashes, y'all don't understand. I can make a mess real quick with a big brush. And I don't go back in on my bottom. If I get one coat over them without messing up, that's it. I know I'm coming on my face, but I gotta be super so bright. I had to be super um, close to make sure I get all over my face. All right, so I think, let me see if I need another coat. No, I'm happy with that. So let's do lips. I've got a lot of little things here with lips too. Um, I threw my tissue away. I got glitter all over me. Um, hmm. Where did my... Oh, here it is. Uh, the Essential Lip Pencil by Wayne Goss and Sepia. I think is how you say it. I'm gonna line my lips. Threw that mirror down. Sorry about that. And I think I'm going to use my, um, this is the Satin Allure Venison Peach, uh, Pat McGrath. Y'all know I keep everything in boxes if I can. I'm weird like that. I don't know. I've always been that way, even as a kid. I want things to be in a certain way. Oh, look. This is one of my new ones. Oh, it's such a pretty peach. Let me see if I can get it to show up better. Nope. Okay. <laughs> mm, such a pretty color. And the little container is gorgeous. I think Wet n Wild does it too. I think Pat, I'm pretty sure Pat McGrath did it first. And then I'm going to use my this is just my Kevin Aquan uh, lip gloss in Talapena. I don't know. It's just a really light pink. It won't the color of it won't show up. So all right. Y'all, I'm good to go. So, I need to wash my hands. Let me get up here so you can really see. This is the look for tonight. I am starving, so I'm going to go eat. I love you guys. I hope that you're having an amazing day or night, wherever you're at. I hope you're making good decisions, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.